the type of power factor decides if your system is consuming the reactive power from the grid or is it delivering the reactive power back to the grid. In this video, you will understand the three different types of power factor, unity power factor, lagging power factor and leading power factor. Now, before we go and understand different types of power factor, you know, what is the universal language of electrical industry? It's the single line diagram. And if you are someone who struggles to read and interpret the single line diagram then i have a dedicated course for you it's called single line diagram master class the course is packed with all the practical understanding you will get step by step guide to read and interpret the single line diagram and also in the last module you will go through a lot of practical examples of uh, actual substation and you will be reading and interpreting the single line diagram like a pro the course comes with lifetime validity and it is completely self-paced you can watch it anytime and anywhere you want if you want to know more details on this i'll put link for it down in the description you can go and check it out now before we go and understand the different types of power factor it is very crucial that you understand what do we mean by power factor i already talked about that in one of my previous video dedicated video where we decoded the concept of a power factor now in brief power factor is basically tells you that now uh, in the modern system what you consume is the apparent power because we have different types of load we have resistive load we have inductive load so what we are consuming is apparent power and power factor is the major that tells us out of uh, out of the total apparent power that you are consuming how much is the active power right that is the uh, significant of understanding power factor you can go and check out my previous video for more detail on this but here we will break down the different types of power factor that we have first let us start with the unity power factor so here is the simple circuit that we have we have 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply which is connected to a purely resistive load which is of 60 ohms now here it's purely resistive load there is no inductive and capacitive element present so when you draw the waveform for this uh, it will look like this and this waveform by looking at it you can say it's perfectly in phase with each other what does that mean? It means that both voltage and current will reach their peak values at the same time. So when I say peak, I mean both positive peak as well as the negative peak. And they will also reach to their zero value at the same time. When this condition is true, then we say it's a pure, the waveforms are perfectly in phase with each other. And this is seen in purely resistive circuit only. And of course, that's the ideal scenario because in practical life you will not find something that is 100 percent pure right and what we are talking is basically the industrial load majorly you will not find uh, any industry which is running only on the resistive load no that's not the case and hence this is the ideal case and when we have such type of situation where the load is purely resistive you will notice that all the types of power whether it's the apparent power or active power it's identical they are same because reactive power in this circuit is zero now let us do a uh, quick calculations to know more on that so here you can see you can calculate the active power by i square r which is 181 watts now we do not have any reactive power because we do not have inductive or capacitive elements so that's zero and hence uh, if the reactance is not there that means the impedance is nothing but the resistance and that apparent power is also then identical to the active power when this situation is there the power factor is set to be unity that means whatever apparent power is uh, you are consuming from the grid all of it all of it is active power only and there is zero reactive power in the circuit that's the significance of that and when you draw the power triangle for such type of load you will get a straight line so basically a power triangle here is a straight line so we have active power which is 181 watts represented by this line since the reactive power is zero the apparent power will also be a straight line like this 
and hence the power triangle is actually a straight line in case of purely resistive load when the power factor is unity but this is not the ideal uh, this is not the practical scenario what is practical that we will understand in the next chapter Now let's talk about the lagging power factor. This is the most practical type of power factor you will find in most of the industries. Now what happens is most of the industries they are of a mixed load. We have some resistive loads like lights and all and then we also have inductive load. What do we mean by inductive load? Uh, a load which will have a coil inside it. For example induction motor they will have a winding right. So that's the inductive load. We have transformer that's the inductive load and when we introduce that into the circuit the waveform of voltage and current looks like this one now if, if you observe this waveform you will notice that here the voltage has a head start and current is lagging by some angle this is called as current lags the voltage by certain angle what is the angle that we don't know but if it's a purely inductive circuit then it will be 90 degrees but uh, the angle then depends on the other impurities in the circuits like the resistance and the capacitance. So it is out of phase with each other because uh, they are not in sync. Their peak values are at different locations. Their zero values are at different locations. So they are out of phase with each other. And in such circuit, if you calculate the power, you will find a difference. The apparent power is no more equal to that of the active power and for sure, uh, the power factor will not be unity let's see that so the active power in this circuit is 515 watts the reactive power is 413 var and which is because of this inductor that is present in the circuit and then the apparent power is 671 va so you see you are consuming more apparent power but the active power is less and when the reactive power is uh, positive that means you are consuming the reactive power from the system and in this case the power factor will be a lagging power factor and in this case it is 0 0.768 lagging because you are consuming the power and this is an inductive circuit and an inductive circuit by the nature of inductive circuit the current lags the voltage because inductor will try to oppose the current uh, change in current right that's the basic property of uh, the inductive circuit uh, we we talked about this in our basics of ac circuit playlist if you want to know more on that you can just go and check that playlist out i'll put a link for it down in the description so because of the very nature of uh, the inductive circuit the current will lag the voltage by certain angle and that's why it is called as a lagging power factor it indicates that your system is consuming reactive power from the grid and in this scenario you will have to add capacitive element in order to improve uh, the power factor in order to supply the reactive power that is being consumed by the circuit locally and not consume it from the grid and if you draw the power triangle for this circuit it will look like this so at the bottom we have active power then we have reactive power and when we connect these two lines then we get the apparent power you see uh, the apparent power is on the positive side because the reactive power is on to the positive side right so that is the lagging power factor in the next chapter we'll talk about the leading power factor So here is our circuit again we have 230 volt 50 hertz supply we have 50 ohms resistance and 100 microfarad uh, the capacitor now here if you notice the waveform of this uh, system you will notice that here the current has the head start and voltage is lagging by some angle again if it's purely capacitive circuit then the angle between voltage and current would be 90 degrees but there will be impurities so uh, we don't know what is the angle of this uh, you will have to calculate that of course so it is out of phase by some angle but this is exactly opposite to that of what we have seen in the inductive circuit in capacitive uh, the voltage is lagging behind the current or in other language the current is leading the voltage by certain angle right 
and in this scenario if you calculate the different powers you will notice that the active power is let's say 753 watts the reactive power is negative negative 479 var and the apparent power is 892 volt ampere now reactive power when it's uh, the reading is negative it means that your system is actually delivering power back to the source right that's the meaning that means your capacitive element is more in your system and if you calculate the power a factor here it will come as 0.844 leading why leading because the current is leading in the circuit to the voltage right because of the very nature of uh, the capacitive circuit in capacitive circuit the capacitors will try to oppose the change in voltage by adjusting the current and that's why the current has head start and voltage will have will be lagging to that of the current and in such circuit uh, the power factor will be a leading power factor now i want you to take a note of this it's it's a very rare scenario that you will have a leading power factor in the system unless you have installed capacitors for power factor improvement improvement and they are overpowering at the circuit now i've seen a lot of people calling capacitor bank as capacitive load no that's not true load is something that consumes the power that's the basic definition of the load capacitor banks deliver the power deliver the reactive power to the system so technically we cannot call it as a load that's the misconception people are having uh, in the industry so uh, but this type of scenario is very rare where you have leading power factor can be where you have installed the power factor correction panels of with lot of capacitor bank and they are overpowering uh, the circuit with capacitive element if this is the case uh, in your circuit then you will have to install the uh, inductors in the system to balance out the things and interestingly if you draw the power triangle of the circuit it will look like this so we have active power here and since our reactive power is negative it is drawn at the bottom and then this line will indicate the apparent power so this is exactly opposite to that of the inductive circuit that we have seen wherever you see such type of uh, power triangle such type of leading power factor it means that the system is delivering power to the source or to the grid clear so that's uh, the difference between the unity power factor the lagging power factor and the leading power factor if you have to quickly summarize this unity power factor can be seen when the active power is equal to the apparent power generally seen in the purely resistive circuit and it's mostly the ideal scenario you will not find it in uh, the practical case second we talked about the lagging power factor which is seen in the inductive circuit and which is most commonly uh, the scenario in the industry and in that case the current is lagging the voltage and hence it's called as the lagging power factor there uh, the capacitor uh, reactive power is positive that means it is consuming power from the system thirdly we talk about we talked about the uh, leading power factor now this is seen in the purely capacitive uh, circuit where the circuit itself is delivering the power back to the system in that case the current is leading the voltage and that power factor is called as the leading power factor but it is seen generally now if you wish to learn about how to do the power factor improvement what are the different ways to do the power factor improvement the basic principle of uh, uh, you know improving power factor you can watch this video this will give you the complete idea about power factor improvement so i hope uh, you understood the difference between unity leading and lagging power factor if this video was helpful then do like the video and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing about this Thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning